When the bay is your office, nature can make your job tough. But for Sean Fritches, the importance of the job brings sunshine. A lot of my uh, extracurricular activities, I spend a lot of time on the Chesapeake Bay and the waters, and, uh, and I certainly enjoy the, the benefits that, that, these projects, uh, that these projects give. Fritches works for the Army Corps of Engineers. His latest project helped with the creation of an oyster reef on the Tredavon River. The sanctuary measuring 147 acres. We're, we're setting oyster shell. We're using a mechanical placement with a dredge, with a, a, a clamshell bucket. Uh, we're stacking the material on the seafloor. The Tread Avon is a part of a larger goal to bring back the oyster population. Some conch shell in there, some scallop shell. The Army Corps is working with NOAA, Maryland, and Virginia to protect oysters in 10 sanctuaries. The partnership has already started work on three of the sanctuaries in Virginia and three in Maryland. The sanctuaries in Maryland include the Tread Avon, 350 acres in Harris Creek, and more than 440 acres on the Little Chop Tank River. The Army Corps has several projects that they're working on. This particular project is 10 acres and covers three different sites. Bruce Vogt is an ecosystem science manager for NOAA. So we set this 10 tributary goal uh, because we want to try to do restoration on a larger scale. The idea is if we can bring enough oysters back and enough habitat back within a tributary, we think we're going to get water quality improvements as well as the habitat value for fish and crabs and other things that, that we care about. But oyster sanctuaries aren't without critics. Some watermen question whether sanctuaries are worth it and are upset with the impacts to their livelihood. The state of Maryland put the project on hold in 2015 to study whether the oyster restoration plan was working. Maryland decided to move forward with work on the Tread Avon this month. We really believe that we need to have areas set aside for ecological restoration, places that are gonna be off limits to harvest because they're producing all those other benefits, whether it's a habitat for other fish or a filtration capacity, cleaning up the water. Those are things that you're just not going to get um, in an area that's uh, that's being disturbed. This whole process is a is a is a, a, a bay Chesapeake Bay cleansing project. A cleansing process because oysters are natural filters, cleaning the bay for people to enjoy it, like Fritches, whether he's working or relaxing on it. it. Makes me feel great. It makes me feel good to be able to give back. In Oxford, I'm Josh Davidsburg for State Circle.